Science Live wallpaper of the week. It's called Supermassive Black Hole. It's on a gyroscope. You see stars falling into the black hole in the center, right? It looks really cool. It's really responsive. You can change the colors, the animations, and stuff that's coming out through in the settings. Go check it out for yourself. All right, here next we have App Locker. This application is going to allow you to lock certain applications so that no one can get into it in case you have kids. If we press Add, let's say we want to protect Amazon Music and press Save. Now there's three. Play Store. Can't get into it without a password. I made this weird one right there. So these are the apps that are protected. Go into the lock screen, you can change the patterns to look like this, as you can see. I can't even get into my settings without a password lock. So that's gonna be another good way of, you know, protecting from kids messing things up. Here next we have Crook Catcher. In case someone's trying to snoop into your phone and you lost your phone, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna turn my screen off, turn it on, and I'm going to unlock. I'm gonna try it, but I'm gonna do it all wrong and then I'll do it wrong. Two times is what I set it for. Once you do two patterns wrong, it's gonna take a picture. So now we're gonna go into and look at this. So what it did, it took a GPS location of where the picture was taken. You can see me there, photo captured of someone trying to get into my phone. The location and pictures will go right to your email because if someone stole it, you're gonna be able to see it. So go check it out for yourself. Here next we have Responder. If you're not around your phone and you get text messages or incoming call, how do you reply to them without making them feel ignored? By clicking on that, you can do a title saying YouTube. What's the reason? Let's do um, gaming. Responds to calls, messages, or both. In order for you to do both, you need to get the premium version, but they'll do messaging. Reply message, say subscribe. Press the check mark, and now we got the YouTube one right there ready. But I'm gonna give myself a message here. Message sent. There's a message like this video, and we can see up here, auto reply has been sent. And you can see right here, I'm in the middle of recording a video, so shut down until I get back to you. Here next we have Pounce. Now this application is great for the people who want to buy things for cheap, or don't know where to find it, or you're at a store and want to get a better comparison. Let's take this for an example. I'm going to snap a picture, cable clip organizer, and this is going to analyze the photo, and it's going to figure out where you can buy it, how much it is, and you can see right here, Amazon, find it anywhere else. You can see some similar stuff that works for all the cable management from there. So just with the picture that it took, it's pretty much like Google goggles. Okay, here's my next product coming up. I've been really anticipating this product here and it finished and then you can see where you can buy it, what's related to it. I can't wait to unbox these clear headphones. I went to CES and I tested them and I was amazed on quality and the sound. Quick and simple, very useful. Here next we have B and H. If you're into buying a lot of video equipment, camera equipment, or a lot of accessories for your video productions, camera stuff, electronics, gadgets, this is like where all the pro people want to go get their stuff. They're really good deals on here. In Deal Zone, the Moto 360, $300 back then, $99 right now. That is a super good deal. It's only gonna last for the next four hours, but you can see daily deals, gift ideas, gift cards, shop use. You can search for my camera. There's my camera that I have. I'm overdue for a video review. This is absolutely the best camera I've used so far. And then you can go to the categories, computers, home entertainment, pro audio, mobile. So it's definitely worth for you to try it out. Here next we have Steam. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been teasing my new PC build on the background of some of my videos and it's complete now and I also recorded the whole entire process. So that video will be up soon. But Steam is a program for your computer and an application for you to manage what games you have, to chat with, buy stuff, search stuff, friends, you can see who's on, who's playing, who's active. If you guys are PC gamers, I'm now entering that field and the game that I'm playing is Rocket League. You can see I've been playing it for 5.8 hours on record. Steam sells their own games. They run their own games for your computer. I hear PS4 can play with Steam gamers as well. And you might want to get into PC gaming. Someone took the cool loser from me. So if you want to look me up on here, it is cool loser God. Give Steam a try. You might like it. Here next we have my app free. Paid app for free using their application. So this game would normally be paid, but if you have this app installed, you can get it for free. You can see what's featured. You can find and discover more apps and games, and you can see your profile, how much you saved. So I haven't really got anything that I wanted from it. Normally it's 99 cents, and you can see how long it's on sale for. I did notice that not every day has something that you would want, but it's nice to have in case you find something, you don't have to pay for it. Easy app, go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Phone Doctor. Now this application, I actually went through everything and I was surprised how well this application works. You can see how long I have with battery left, how much I have space, my CPU, oops, 
uh, you see how it's performing, my network speeds, how it's, you get your quick glance here. Go into the next tab, you get into the multi-touch, so you can actually click on it and fill out if your multi-touch is performing right. And this will definitely help you out if there is something wrong with it. Everything on your phone will be tested. There's a lot to go in this application, I just can't go through it all. Until you want to get more specs and info, you gotta click it yourself. And last but not least, we have File Manager HD. Now, I don't know if you guys knew that you can go into your files with different applications because your phone might not have it. Click on all my photos, all my audio, videos, docs, all in one little page. It's a file manager. It's your folder like a computer would contain. How much is in your device? You can see the recent activity that's happening down here. You can click on this in the middle. There's a lot of folders. It's not hurting your phone. It's just more like a clutterness and you know you're not going to need it then you just press delete and you make sure that you're not deleting anything you're not supposed to because you can delete your photos and files and stuff that your saved stuff is in you don't need to be rooted it's just an easy way to manage maybe you want to group some of this stuff here you could move it you copy it go to more your details rename it and we can go into share and you select where you want to share it to or up load it to. This is my favorite one I like to use. It's just simple. I trust it. Definitely go check it out for yourself. So there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps this week. Number 338. I'm on my Nexus 6P as you can see here. I love the wallpaper. It's beautiful. And that's it for me. So thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.